What's up superstars? Welcome back to another Zero to Hero artwork series. In this video, we're actually gonna be showing you guys a step-by-step -step process to create a softer DTF t-shirt print by not only doing a black knockout, but we're also gonna be creating half tones instead of gradients. Today's video, we're gonna be using one of my favorite superheroes. This is Batman. This is for personal use only, but I'm gonna show you how I turn this artwork design not only to a good looking shirt, but also a great feeling shirt because we're gonna be knocking out the black and we're also gonna be doing a halftone effect here. So if you're looking at this image, a few things to keep in mind when you're looking at this, obviously it's not transparent, so it's not made to be printed on a shirt. You technically could, but it's gonna print this black box around it and who wants that, right? So this design has no gradients to it and it would technically look fine just taking out the black background but we're gonna take it a step further and we're gonna be creating half tones so that it blends into the shirt very, very nicely. Lastly, since this is going on a black shirt, we're gonna be doing this black knockout so it becomes also breathable and it makes for a perfect shirt. So be sure to save this page if you guys wanna refer back to this guide, but let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you guys watch this whole video because I'm also gonna be showing you guys how it looks when I press this onto a black shirt so you don't wanna miss out. And like always, make sure you guys subscribe to get the latest videos. So now we are going to work on another artwork. As you can see, it has a gradient effect that hasn't been cleaned up. The first thing is to ensure that the resolution of the artwork is set to 300 ppi properly. These areas are not 100% opaque, and this wouldn't look good when printed on DTF. Let's apply a black knockout with a half-tone effect again. After we have secured the resolution and decided, which you can check again by pressing Ctrl-I, The next thing we'll do is duplicate the layer. Right click, duplicate the layer and press OK. Then the next thing is to turn the artwork to grayscale since this is the only way. We'll have to overlay this on the original image later. Next thing is levels, and we need to get as much white as possible on the main artwork, and something like this will work on the blacks. Since all these whites are not going to be half-toned, the blacks won't be either. But all of these gray areas will need to be half-toned. Press Enter. Let's change the image mode to bitmap and flatten this. Choose half-tone and we can try 35 for frequency. And yeah, as you can see, the halftone looks pretty good. It blends well. Let's try to overlay it. Control A, then copy. Create a mask on the layer that we did earlier. Press Alt, click, and paste the overlay inside and just turn the view on. Toggle the visibility again. This is how the artwork would look and it might look weird.
but a darker color would be better. Any other color, but preferably a dark one would fit well. If you use a light color, it doesn't blend well, so even something like this works. So it really depends on the color you want to use, but let's save this one. So as promised, I'm going to show you guys how this design looks when we press this onto a black shirt. Let's take a look at the original image first, and this has the black background that we did not want since we're pressing on a black shirt. We also want it to be a little bit more breathable as mentioned. Uh, so the dimension I have here for this transfer is going to be about 11 inches in width. And as far as height goes, it is also 11 inches. So it is 11 by 11. And the new design is going to be about 10 and a half and about 10 and a half because we don't have that extra black border around it. And the shirt that we're going to be using today is going to be a next level 3600. This is going to be a 100% cotton tee. And I'm going to go ahead and lay our shirt onto the heat press. We're using a Vivor. This is a semi-automatic heat press that we just reviewed. So if you guys have not seen that video yet, make sure you guys tune in for that. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to make sure that the neck seam is going to be above the padding here because I don't want it to create a crease line and that's the line that I'm going to be using and I have both sides measured and it seems pretty even to me okay so we're going to go ahead and use a measurement ruler because this is not a huge graphic I'm able to actually squeeze it through here and then I'm going to grab so we're going to do three inches down since this is an adult shirt men's this is what we're going to roll with and then the transfer here, I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it in half. I'm gonna give it a quick fold at the top and that'll give me the midpoint of the transfer. And I'm gonna line it to that six inch mark on the transfer and that's gonna be the center. Now, I wanna make sure that the design is gonna be within the padding and the heat press. Everything is nice and straight. I'm gonna remove this and then we're gonna be pressing 300 degrees Seven seconds, heavy pressure, let's go. Now because we are doing half tone effects and it has very small details, I'm going to be using a microfiber cloth just to help get all the fine little details out. This will especially help when you're dealing with a transfer with an effect like this. So let's go ahead and let this cool down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the shirt from the press. I'm ha I have the padding underneath here, but I'm gonna remove it here because it gives me more room to peel. I'm gonna use my one hand to hold down the shirt, one hand to hold the transfer, pull away from the shirt. There you have it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do the second press. So this is the same film. I'm gonna flip this around. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do that second press. We're gonna lay the shirt back into the heat press. Now normally we just grab the same film that we just used and we flip it around to do that press. Uh, so in this case, because we're working with gradients, not everything 100% transfers through because of the fine details, but that's just part of a gradient process or a half tone gradient process where it has very, very small pixels. So in this case, we are gonna use the same sheet. I do recommend using a parchment paper, but if you need to, you can use the same sheet. Just make sure that you are wiping the Teflon sheet on top afterwards so that you're not continually transferring that over onto any garments. So with that said, let's go ahead and do a press for the second time, also 300 degrees, seven seconds. Okay, now while it's hot, I'm gonna just gonna give this a wipe. I wanna make sure that all the parts of the transfer is not gonna be on there so it doesn't transfer onto any of your future designs. Let's go ahead and pull this off and let's go ahead and inspect the design afterwards. So let's take a look at that, guys. It is a half tone effect, extra breathable because we knocked out the black. The black's 
it's it's going to be nice and smooth into the graphic, breathable, just real nice compared to a design like this. This is where we retain the background to it. It is not it is thick, not breathable. So that's the case that you get. And because guys, you guys watch till the very end, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how this transfer looks with the back background press onto a black shirt so I can show you guys what not to do. So let's grab the same shirt. We'll play this down here. I'm just going to eyeball this. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the transfer. Okay, nice and flat. 300 degrees, seven seconds. All right, let's let that cool down. Let's go ahead and take the shirt off so that we can peel and I can show you guys how it looks like. And this is with the black border. It's not very noticeable here because it looks black, it looks black, but guys, the black color ink is gonna be different for the color of the black garment. So let's peel. You guys can see it's very, very noticeable. There's a black box behind it. This is just not ideal for a t-shirt. We're gonna go ahead and do a second press real quick. Three hundred degrees again. Seven seconds. So, guys, with the black background, it's boxy, not breathable, not ideal in our opinion. If you have a chance to edit the artwork in this case, do the black knockout. Much better retail quality, let me know what you guys think. You guys have any questions in the, regarding the process, let us know in the, in the description below. And if you guys want to watch any other videos that are similar to this, artwork tutorials, they're all very helpful. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. We'll continue to make content on a weekly basis for you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one.